Hey guys, welcome to the Crosscast. Tina here. Um, so I'm back with another Factorio video. Let's see what was I doing last episode. Well, besides the very, very slow. Um, dang it. Well, I need to get those furnaces placed anyway. But we need to get the coal down to here. We're going to need to do several things with the coal. We're going to probably need more reserves of coal and. That, and this is just the beginning of the game still. I, I mean, I have not gotten anywhere near where I need to go, need to be anyway, in the means of setting up this setup. So we need underground, underground, down, there. Okay, there we go. So we can just delete all this. The underground belt like that we're going to want. But, okay, so we're going to have underground belt... I don't care that you're not recording my voice, Bandicam. I'm using Audacity to do that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I just need to get the coal down to here first and foremost before I get do anything else. Okay. Electric labs, I, I know that it's going to be slow as crap because they're, the coal burning labs are not as efficient as I originally thought they would be. So we want splitter, splitter. Oh, wait, splitter. I, I just messed up myself. I need to be right here. So I could do a splitter here, going to there, and a splitter going down to here. Belt under to here. And continue the coal line down. Okay, that will work. Okay, so the coal is going to keep piling up. We don't have many burner. I, I don't even think we have electric burn coal miners on this, do we? We do! Okay, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> so I know we're going to need some of the quartz early on to get wood set up so we can get risen and all that. What the crap was that noise? <laughs> well, at least I am trying something new. I, I still need to work on it, see if it's working with no with my no with the voice recording. So hopefully this does help, otherwise I have no clue what to do next okay uh, what are you guys missing copper well, I don't. well here I I'll help by giving you tons of copper I mean how much do we really need because I'll say I can probably five seconds versus 0.5 seconds okay I'll stick to the 0.5 um let's see let's see I got plenty of actually I could just chuck these two back I have plenty of copper on me that we could smelt. Um, I need... I had this set up so it would not do the... Oh, you have one, then you have one. You have one, and you have one. I, and I don't even know if the... Um, oh, okay, I do have it showing you my mouse cursor when it's recording. Hopefully that is show That is what is happening. We are getting a ton of stone. I'm going to stop these quarries so we could get more onto we can start getting more onto um iron because I know we're going to need a ton of iron especially because of steel that we're we're going to want that game done pretty fast and we have four inserters so we might as well be using them instead of wasting coal um let's see you need more iron so that both of you could have 200 each there we go. Um, we can remove this guy because we don't really need these considering we're making belt up here. Okay, we need to put more quarries onto that cop coal. We also need to find more coal, which requires us to get in. I, I thought I was already ahead. I thought I did some of this off camp. Did I? Um, escape. Load game. One two six one thirty eight. Okay, so I did this guy, not this guy. Got it. Okay, so we are still nowhere near the electrical labs because these are not efficient at all. Um, we could get more. It's just I'd have to duplicate this setup several times and keep running coal and iron to these guys. So it's almost there. It'll be another probably 20 minutes before, well, another 15 minutes before that it's done, mind you. 
when I want these, we're, we're going to need all the ore really early on. So I'm going to want to get these guys automated. Okay. Okay. I could make these in. How? What's the map? I, I want to check something. If these could craft themselves. Dang it, they can only craft with three, two objects. Dang it! Well, at least I could get these guys constructed because those guys just require these guys plus copper cables. So, I guess that's a pro. I just. I, 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 I'm starting to wonder if I should just use the other world at this point because we have no gears being produced to make any more belts. We're not even maxed out on belts, so we need the. Iron. Okay, that will be 50 each. So that's going to be 200 irons purely for this, plus what else, what else, what all is on the bus already for that. And I was wrong, it's not going to take another 15 minutes, it's going to take a few more minutes for the entirety of the um, electrical labs. Which will then make it so everything's 100% efficient for these guys. Which will be nice to get rid of these. Then we could go for, for actual automation. Uh, where would that be? Actual starting to get these guys, which will be grand. So then we need... Um, do I want to do some... We need to get basic fluid handling so we can get these offshore pumps so we can start getting into steam power, which is quite ex 150 red packs. That's still quite expensive, but at least it's more accurate than about. Okay, this. It, the electric rod required 100 times. Well, the, um, let me grab a calculator. Yeah, there we go. Calculator. Okay, so if one is a hunt equals a hundred percent, one vial is a hundred units. Okay, times point nine. It, it's only. It's I'm you saying if one of these equals a hundred ticks of this, then we're only getting we're losing ten percent, which to gain that ten percent would be times. Nine, uh, 810 relatively with my calculator, but I'm sure I got that wrong. It'd probably be 9, 100 times 0.9 is 90, so maybe 900? I highly doubt I got, I highly think I got that wrong. But now then we can actually start getting these, te these smaller texts done within a reasonable time. So to finish those off, we need basic circuit boards and iron. And this guy needs coal. Okay, so we need iron. And we need copper. Just, oh, sweet, we got both of them. So now these will be 100% effective and will get us our tech done faster. Now the thing is, is, after we get the logistics, we'll finally be able to get started with the game. <laughs> Three episodes is all it takes with AAI Industries. I'm, I, I love this mod, I really do. But, but for this series, considering I have Bob's mods installed, and I'm not particularly sure how to run Bob's mods, um, I, I'm thinking adding AAI Industry was a little bit of a issue <laughs> but now that we have these labs it's just like this becomes 500 times easier of course these guys aren't really cheap come on last yes we're on our last lap come on come on yes oh that's gonna make time so fly so much freaking faster Three into there, two into you. Oh, that will make time fly so much freaking faster with the technology. 
although we should have done automation instead but we need to get logistics so we can start getting our iron guy down here set up so the best thing I can do right now is get rid of El Mess of this area we will be using electric furnaces that is a no dir moment okay so let's just because I don't have underground belt at all I need to avoid everything right now so we're going to grab all this and I'm going to clear everything here so tech will be stuck at the threshold of probably steam power for a while as I'm making an ore bus down to okay we got logistics that's great I'm making an ore bus down to the now I'm out of conveyor belts tech okay um, we need automation one so let's get that done and then honestly I think this may work a lot better with the way I've set it up I'm using two binders to bounce my voice around just in this little area but I'm hoping that works a lot more than what I'm what I was usually usually doing I'll find out in editing but let's see where the conveyor belts are there we only have 146 of them I'm sorry for being silent it's I, I'm going to do I'm thinking of deleting all the times where I'm silent in a recording because there's really no point to having the silent parts when I could just it will be jump cutty I'll give you that but it would and it would get rid of the whole it would be more oh we're getting rid of the jump cuts thank freaking god he's finally figured out to remove the jump cuts now of course in my original setup I didn't have the two on the setup on my let's the test world I didn't have the two to the two setup I had it more of a one per thing not two per but it, this will work a lot faster than what my other one was producing um what I'm thinking is probably turning uh, do I have a steel one very freaking bottom of course but um, let's see we're going to need to make a, a, a edit the steel one a bit um, we're going to want um, the belt yes but we need to get the iron and coal I did not say R F F there we go that should be plenty of ore plenty of coal doom, doom. this should get me all I need for iron for the immediate means Control. to get the splitter that's great now I just need to get these so control there we go and create the beds <laughs> stealing Stejo's thing okay so we need one of you there um, we need this guy to continue that way I guess um, we need you to go like that then we need another guy control click 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 there we go another one to get iron down the line okay I screwed something up here <laughs> because I would have to do I, I screwed something up here that's for sure. Let's see, if I do it like this. Now let me get rid of you. If I do this. Boom, boom, and then. Doom. Okay, I need a splitter here to continue that side and then going down was there a gap between my iron? 
I, I don't think so. I had everything literally within like that minus this one for some odd reason. That was for quartz, but we need copper to go go down. Okay, so we need copper to iron to split off here, so coal needs to come down to here, but then that just sets one line. Huh. Can I would it would it be better if I did this? No, it wouldn't, because I need to get iron set up. Go like that. Then it gets split on that. You need a underground, so I'd have to do it like right there, at which it's side loading the thing. I need some wood. <laughs> That's what's restricting me from making freaking splitters is the wood for the wood insulative board and stone tablet. Okay, so we'll get one. Because, oh, one second, save game, uh, I'm just going to create a blueprint, uh, save, load game, load the test world, okay, I, I'm just going to grab a blueprint, and create a new blueprint of the, um, how I have the, how I, it's a good thing to have the test world, so I can get the, because I have no clue what I did over at the beginning. So you can see what I mean by one to... It's still two to one, but it's not real. It's more spaced out. So let's copy this. Splitter. Check. Go to here. Put to there. Load game to that one. Go here. And grab you. Okay. So it's like that. Okay. So delete. So I need to move the coal over one, I think. Let's actually just replace that blueprint splitter. There we go. So, geez, I was way off. Okay. Um. So that goes there. This will go here to there. Down to down, like that. Then we're going to need one, two, three. Da dum dum. Okay, um, four splitters, okay. I I'm sure there was a more effective way of doing this. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, sure there was a more efficient way of doing this setup, apparently, I'm assuming. You guys can figure out an easier way. I, I haven't really had that. I, I should turn it in like this. And have it go like that, but apparently I've been wrong for the entire D of the blueprint. So if we do that, it, it would have to continue like this to continue working. So this wasn't a the correct setup. Okay, so we go back down. Actually, let's delete you because we do have an empty blueprint right here and just copy the, this entirety remove the pole check and then let's see right here here You see how I still have not deleted all the old tra traces of the old blueprint from 0 0.14 from all of these quartz, lead, either this was steel or solder, at which if it's solder I can't use it. But now that I take 
this guy and can get all of these guys set up to function correctly. Okay, that one needs to be replaced. There we go. There we go. So that's all the iron. Now we're on to the copper setup, which is still going to be the same setup, it's just the iron doesn't need to be here anymore coming down. So it, it would just continue as duh, dumb, to them. Okay. That's how I want my iron set up. So we can at least get that set up correctly. Now. Doom and da -da -da. And it's working like a charm. Okay. So then the coal will have to stay in the same line. So there was a purposeful gap between the two. Okay. That is good to know. So we so we need to finish off these blueprints, but at least now we can get iron vaguely set up. We do need to get the powered inserters, which takes a bit of copper. But once we get our iron set up, that'll make life a lot easier because we can move this and have a huge amount of iron just for this guy. I uh, did we run out of copper? Yeah, we stopped smelting it, so we need to continue smelting it. And guys, at, we're all we're finally in the home stretch of actually starting this thing. I know it's been a long time coming, and we're still doing the one to one, but that's more of this guy can't keep up. So, and you're out of fuel, you're out of iron. So. The upside is we'll be able to move everything to its own place so we can move this away after we get automation done. That's the one thing that's holding this all back is automation, really. And iron. Go, chuck the 200 iron into you, chuck 32 iron into you. And yeah, we're almost to there. I I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you have subscribed if you're new. I'll see you all on the next episode. Peace.